How you doing guys? Adrian Jr. here with Sun City Outdoors. And if you guys have been watching my channel, you know I recently shot a doe. And I'm going to be making jerky out of it. It's something we always make out of everything we harvest. And I'm going to show you a great way to do it. So we're using the seasonings right here. If you guys want to know more info about anything we're using, there's going to be links down in the description. So go ahead and check them out. But here's the seasoning pack. It comes with multiple different seasonings. My personal favorite is the Cajun blend. <laughs> and this, you don't need this, but it makes life a whole lot easier. And here's all the deer meat. We've been soaking it in salt water for three days, switching the water out every day. And believe it or not, that actually make the, makes the final product a lot better. We've tried it soaking it in salt water and not, so I really recommend doing that. So let's go ahead and get started. I didn't want to bore you guys with all the cutting, but that's how the meat turns out right there. Um, all you do is, with this machine right here, just put the meat on it, on this little thing they got here, and you just, just put it on that, turn it on, and the blade turns. So that's how you use that machine. It cuts the meat real thin for you, real fast. It's a lot easier than using a knife with your hand. So this jerky is gonna turn out great. And then the, you like it real thin. And we used to have to use our knife before we got this thing and it would take uh, 10 times as long at least. So we really like this thing. So this is gonna turn into jerky by tomorrow. All right, so right here, I'm gonna separate all this into four pounds individually. That's how we're gonna make our jerky in four pound increments. So what I'm gonna do is this big bowl right here. I go and I see how much it weighs. And then that's about six ounces. So I just grab a good little chunk of meat and I'm gonna put it all the way up till it reaches about four pounds. So we're gonna keep adding, adding till it goes, hits four pounds and six ounces. Uh, this one we're gonna be seasoning with cracked pepper and garlic, which comes in the pack. And those packs of seasonings come with instructions right here. And since we're cooking it whole meat and we're not grinding it up, it says two tablespoons of the seasoning and two tablespoons and two teaspoons of the cure. And it comes with a big pack of cure. So we're gonna go ahead and put two tablespoons of this in there. You can always break it up before. It gets kind of clumpy sometimes. So we're just gonna fill this up to about two tablespoons. That's about right. And just sprinkle it over. Helps mix later. One more tablespoon. Sprinkle it over. And then after you put your seasonings, there's a cure right here. This stuff goes in every seasoning you put no matter what. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of this and two teaspoons of this also. Ooh, a little bit over right there. It's all right though. And then you're just gonna add your teaspoons. So we already added one. There we go, that should be perfect. And then after that, we're just gonna mix it up. And you're gonna cover it and put it in your refrigerator for a day. So something we always kinda do, um, we like doing it, we always add a little bit of lemon juice to our mix. and some hot sauce. We always, we've tried it without it and with it and it's a personal opinion, we just like adding it. Go ahead, just add it. It's just a little great value hot sauce, it tastes pretty good. And the better you mix it, the better the meat will turn out. So after you mix it up, we're just gonna cover it with some saran wrap and mark uh, the C and the C for cracked pepper. So I covered it up and I labeled it with G in the end because there's garlic in it and I did another flavor, it's Cajun. So we're gonna throw this in the fridge and tomorrow begins the dehydration process. So I'll show you guys that too. Just throw it down here by the other one. Perfect. We'll be back about maybe four o'clock tomorrow after school. <laughs> All right guys, it's the very next day. Here's all the jerky, all the meat we're gonna make in the jerky right here. This flavor right here is gonna be Cajun, my favorite actually. 
when we make jerky, my favorite's always Cajun, so we'll see how this one turns out. So this step's pretty simple. All I do is I take it and I lay it out on these sheets that come with the dehydrator. So you just grab the pieces and open them up. Lay them down. That's all you gotta do. So this is what the jerky looks like after you spread it out on the sheets right here. You want to make sure they're nice and open and don't overlap and fold over each other. So uh, the four pounds took up all five of our sheets. Now all you're going to do is slide them into the, the hydrator right here. And in a couple hours you have jerky. So here's the last tray. A good Cajun spice jerky, deer jerky. Close it up. There you go. That's all you need to do. After about three hours, this is what the jerky looks like when it comes out. Uh, I put it in these little bags right here. Just you could travel with it, take it hunting with you, eat it at school, whatever. And it actually turns out really good like this. You can even let the thicker pieces sit about four hours. And if you guys want to know anything I use in this video, any of the recipes, anything, uh, links are down in the description, so go ahead and check them out. This jerky turns out really good. I recommend you guys try it. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.